Okay, um, I'm making this video because I'm going to uh, resource all of my Mega Man stuff. Uh, you see that big uh, empty space there. Uh, that's where I'm going to place all of this stuff. And that's going to take a while and I thought it's maybe a good idea to uh, uh, to make good use of this time and talk about a little bit of what I have here. Um, let me start uh, at the very top here. Uh, you can see there are, there are many boxes there. Uh, there's not only Mega Man stuff. I uh, have some computer-related stuff. Um, some other uh, boxes I just store here. Uh, but here, uh, this is the uh, Archie Comics Mega Man comic. Uh, this one is still running on. Um, the current issue is number five. I don't have it here. It's ordered, but just haven't arrived. Uh, this is issue number one. Uh, issue number two. Oh, take this away. And issues number three and four. I must say I really enjoyed these ones. I may do a review about them someday. Now moving on down here, there's some Mega Man toys and keychainers and more toys. Uh, you can see there are more toys here, and lots and lots of toys. Let me show you very slowly. Uh, actually, we may get used to some less. There you go. And um, here is uh, Mega Man Star Force. Blues and there's Rush down here, and I also have some battle chips for the uh, BT toy. I actually don't have the the thing. I'm looking for it. I have to get it someday. Uh, this one I don't have a space for it, so I just keep it there. And let's move up to the good stuff. Look here, man. Where should I start? Okay, maybe about here. Let me show you what I have here. Uh, these ones are used copies I got for the Game Boy Mega Man game. Uh, here is, uh, let me see, Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 4, and Mega Man 5 is over here. This one is actually a little bit uh, worn out. I'm hoping to get a bird copy of this one. Oh, come on. There you go. Ah. I need extra hands here. Oh well. Hmm. Um, okay. Just one last try. And, and there you go. Here is his. Uh, it actually works, but I don't like the fact that the uh, front cover is just worn out. So I'm hoping to get another copy of this one. Uh, here are Mega Man Extreme 1 and 2. And over here we have some Game Boy Advance games. You can see I have... Uh, this is Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue version. Over here we have... Mega Man Battle Network 2. Actually, this one is before uh, Capcom started making the two or three versions of the same game. Uh, so, I'm looking for uh, Battle Network 3 White, of course. Um, but there's no other version of 2. And inside this one, let me show you what I got here. This one is a little bit rare. It's not the rarest game I have, but I'm pretty sure you haven't heard of this one. This is Mega Man Battle Network or Battle Chip Challenge. It's a little bit rare. Not the rarest, but a little bit rare. And here we have uh, Mega Man and Bass. This is actually not that rare either because it was released in the US, but I'm going to show you some more rare stuff. Now, over here, you may be wondering what I have in this one. Well, let's take a look. Whoa, there's absolutely nothing here. What's going on? Well, um, I'm hoping to use this box to store Japanese versions of what I have here. And let me show you what I have here. This is all my NDS Mega Man games. 
Uh, this one here, I hope you can see it. It's Mega Man Star Force Leo. Of course, these two empty spaces are reserved for the other two versions. I don't have them yet. I hope to have them someday. Uh, this will be Pegasus, and this will be Dragon versions. And down here, we have Mega Man Star Force 2. This is Circuit X Ninja. Uh, it's the only one I have. I'm looking for Circuit X Saurian. And here is Mega Man Battle Network 5 Double Team DS, some creep experiment Capcom made on the Battle Network series for the NDS. And down here we have uh, Mega Man Battle Network 3 Disease Black Ace, I'm looking for Red Joker of course, and Mega Man Zero Collection, and over here Mega Man ZX and ZX. That then, and I'm not quite sure what I am going to use this space for, but I will find out someday. Mm, I have some one other game here. This is actually not Mega Man game. This is uh, uh, what was the name for this? SNK versus Capcom Firing Card DS XX and and W what that this and that. Uh, there are some cameos in this, and of course there are some Mega Man cards inside. I haven't played it that much, but. I hope to someday. And moving on here, well, this is just Mega Man Network transmission for the GameCube. Uh, it's a little bit worn out, but not that much. And these boxes here, they are. Uh, I haven't played most of this game, I gotta admit. At least not in this cartridge version. Um, I'm gonna talk about that maybe later. Okay, here is Mega Man Battle Network 6. Uh, this is Side. This false art version, and of course, this one has another version. There is Typist Gregor. There you go, and this is Mega Man Battle Network 5. I don't know why it came with this uh, kind of sticker thing. Uh, well, uh, this is uh, Team Protoman. There's another version for Colonel, Team Colonel. I don't have that one. That one. I have. Battle Network 4, Blue Moon, and Red Sun. And moving on over here, oh my gosh. Oh, here, uh, these ones are DVDs for the uh, stupidly, stupidly dubbed Mega Man Anti-Warrior series. They suck so hard. This is Region 4, that's Latin American Spanish. They suck. Uh, but, well, I got them. Um, right now here, oh, this is actually, this is very good stuff. This is music CDs for Mega Man. This one is a uh, Rockman X series uh, vocal album or something like that. Uh, these ones are all the songs for the uh, Empty Warrior, uh, I'm quoting here, for the Empty Warrior uh, cartoon show. Um, including the, uh, the Star Force anime, uh, which is actually called Ryuse in Japan. Um, this is all the songs that have lyrics on them, and I actually enjoy this one a lot. I, I love the music. Of course, they come with some uh, fancy manuals and stuff. Uh, this card, I don't know what it's used for. I never figure out. I haven't searched on it, but uh, I wish I could know what it's for. Uh, someday I will. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I will fix this later. Um, this one is... Oh yeah, this one of course is Japanese. All the lyrics are in Japanese. Uh, you can translate that if you don't know Japanese. This one here then is uh, uh, Mega Man 10 Arrange Album. These ones are arranged versions of the Mega Man 10 game, of course, uh, uh, using, I don't know if they're real instruments or MIDI instruments, but they sound, sound really, really cool. Let me show you this. They come with uh, this kind of um, manga little booklet. Uh, I haven't been able to translate all of this. I hope I get someone who knows a lot of Japanese, but uh, it looks like a... Um, and an interesting story here. Interesting. Oh, interesting story going on here. I can tell exactly what's going on, but uh, seems cool. Okay, moving on. 
Uh, over here we have this is Mega Man 9 uh, image soundtrack, which is of course the same thing as the other album, but for Mega Man 9 this is arranged versions of the Mega Man 9 song songs. Um, of course, it also comes with this kind of uh, manga small booklet here. Oh, I love this face. Actually, I love the Japanese style for this Mega Man stuff. I have, I will show you something in a little bit. But of course, I can't translate this one either because my Japanese suck. And let's move to the next one. This is. Mega Man 9 OST original soundtrack. It is this one, of course, is just the 8 bit versions of all the songs on the game. Uh, and sadly, this one doesn't come with any kind of manga or anything. It's just uh, some random things that I can't read either. Some explanation, lots and lots of 8 bit, 8 -bit style um, uh, manuals for the old days of old school Mega Man um, and that's it I don't have the OST for uh, Mega Man 10 I'm looking for it hope to get it someday and let's move on this one is Mega Man 8 OST just the songs uh, nothing special in this one it's just the songs I love the songs of course and here is Mega Man 7 OST 2 this is actually more or less the same as the uh, Mega Man 8, no, nothing special inside here, but I gotta say, uh, the songs here are recorded somehow, uh, I don't know, maybe directly from a TV screen, uh, you can hear the text typing, you know, if you have ever played the games, you can, um, sometimes there are some texts, some people talking, and of course you hear some beep 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 beep, beep every time a letter is typed, and well you can hear those two here and if you ask me that pretty much sucks so let's move on what do we have, what do we have here this is oh man i really have problems trying to spell this one it's roman one through six rock arranged versions these ones they really really rock i mean these are arranged versions again from uh megamas one through six of course um, oh man, and they are amazing and they are in rock style of course uh, there's not too much to see inside here but trust me if you can lay your hands in this one you really really should it if you really like Mega Man music this one rock and moving on we have the same thing but Techno Ranch this one of course are more songs for Mega Man uh, game music uh, the songs here are different from the ones in this other. I mean, there are um, some songs here for, uh, I don't know, maybe Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, but none of the songs you can find in this album, in the rock version, are in the techno version. There are different songs in this. The only one that repeats in both albums is the um, uh, Wily Castle to stage music for Mega Man 2, you know, the very, very famous one. Uh, and that's it. Let's move on. Let's see what we have here. This one, I got scanned with this one. <laughs> I hate this album. It's uh, Keep Tune Rockman, and it sucks. It's uh, explain this thing. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of uh, actually, this one is pretty cool, but the songs aren't. It's just eight bit uh, a wrench or no, not a wrench just a big remix uh, songs they sound really horrible they don't even sound cool like for example in Scott Pilgrim vs. The War that's still a bit music and sounds really cool this one sucks and this last one this is uh, Mega Man Star Force 1 and 2 original soundtrack this one has the soundtrack for both games oh let me try to open up this Thing. Oh man, here, uh, well, there are some songs in this one. This one also came with some kind of car, if I remember. Um, not here. Well, there's another disc on this other side. Uh, there's the manual. I 
couldn't tell you what what they are talking about in here. I hope to someday. Uh, oh well, this is just uh, OST for Star Force One and Two. And let's move on over here. Oh, I have got plenty of printed works here. Uh, where should I start? Maybe this one. This is just a notebook for Mega Man X6. And that's it. Of course, I'm not taking any notes on it. I'm not going to let anyone take notes on this. But uh, that's pretty much it. You can see that there is space rock man because it's Japanese version. Okay, let's try this one. And this is just... Uh, I have problems spelling this one. This is postcards for the Battle Network series. This is for the Battle Network 5. Uh, what do I mean by postcard? Well, it's just that. Postcards. You take it off and write it. Uh, write some text here for John Doe, 123, fake address, and uh, I hate you, please die, and so on and so forth. There are plenty of uh, cards to choose from, of course, and no, I'm not giving that this one away either. There is another one for this is Battle Network 3, and it's pretty much the same uh, cards for the third game. I actually love the graphic style here. And moving on, there is some other cards for this is the game number two and same thing. Oh, oh wait. Just some postcards and postcards and nothing that I am going to ever use. Okay, and what do we have here? Oh man, this one really, really rocks. This is awesome stuff. This is uh this is Mega Man Tribute by uh, these guys from Udon. They really know how to do this kind of stuff. This one was uh, made from uh, fan submit uh, artwork and they are really, really amazing stuff. I mean, look at this. Look at the detail, the care there. Oh man, this is. Of course, this was made by, by fans, all of this stuff. And that's why it rocks so much because fans know what they love about Mega Man. This is just amazing. Let me show you this one here. So I, I think this guy got it very, very cool. Just take a look at it. You may Google it. It's on DeviantArt. You can find it. Uh, it was made by uh, this guy, Jose Luis Jimenez Diaz. He's from Bogota, Colombia. And you can find his web address here. Please visit him. This image really rocks as long as all the other images inside here. I mean, it's just amazing stuff. Look at this. Isn't that the most amazing thing you have ever seen? <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's try some other. Um, this one is some crappy DreamWorks Mega Man comic that came out. It's actually not that bad, but it's just... Uh, very much like Astro Boy more than Mega Man. I know Mega Man is a ripoff of Astro Boy. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this Astro Boy? Uh, anyway, this is issue number one. This is the only issue I have in this comic format. But I also have. Oh. I also have this pocket book here, which is all the four issues that came out of that very same comic. Uh, they are all inside this book. I'm hoping to review this one someday. Just let me see if I can find one random page. Uh, never mind. I may someday make a review. As I said, this is all the issues that came out. And it was cancelled after that. Sadly. That sucks. And over here we have... This is Complete Wars for the Battle Network series. You can see his Rockman X in Japanese. I love that name. I don't know why they changed it to Battle Network shit thingy. Uh, and yeah, this, these ones actually are very interesting. They all came with comments from uh, Keiji Nafune and some other of the creators of the series. Of course, this one is in Japanese, so you most likely aren't going to be able to read this one. But I have other ones. I will show you in, in a moment. And, well, this is pretty much all the official art that came out of this game, or all of these games. 
And that's pretty much it with commands from the altars. I, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, let me show you, for example, here. Mega Man X, official complete words. You can see his, it says Mega Man X, not Rockman X. That's because this is the English version. And as you can see, for example, let's see, oh man, there's no comments here. Let me try some other page. Uh, here. Oh. This is a uh, comment for Mega Man X2, and you can see this command was written by uh, some guy, I don't know who wrote this, but well, well, that's in English, you can read those ones, and uh, well, you, you find lots of interesting stuff here. Uh, I love the art style, of course, and there are some, there's some section for uh, sketches, and rough sketches, and all kinds of interesting stuff. So over here, uh, this one is already. Uh, this is, of course, the most important one. Mega Man com official complete word. And of course, the same, same stuff. Uh, just official art for the Mega Man series. This one is in English, so I found lots of interesting information here. Uh, one thing I find interesting too is the back of the front cover. You can see there is some kind of texture here. Actually, if you move your finger around here, you can feel this uh, texture, like it's bumping and... I don't know. I don't know how to say that in English, sorry. Uh, but, well, you can see pretty much there's there are some bumps here, and you can feel them in, in the front cover. Uh, you cannot see them, but they can be felt. Oh, well. Moving on, there's lots of things here. Oh man, I feel like I'm never going to finish this kind of review. Oh wait, I, I, I was forgetting this one. This one... What the hell is this one? Oh my god, what is this? Oh yeah, it's just commercials that came out, in, came out in the Mega Man 3 box for the NES. Whatever. And here, it's the manual for Mega Man 3. This one was donated by me, thanks. I mean, donated to me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's see, here is, I'm going to try to speed up because I'm getting tired of, tired of talking. Um, this is the English version for the Mega Man ZX manga. This is volume number one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is number two. Uh, this was originally Japanese. I love this graphic style, of course. Uh, okay, this is volume number two. This is sadly the last one that came out for the CS ZX Advent series. Um, well, that's pretty much it. It's a manga. I love it. I really love it. They, there's a special section by the end where the authors talk about how they made the series or the comic and stuff like that. And, of course, I have over here issue number one and oh yeah this being a manga you read it from the from right to left I mean this is the front cover and this is the back cover if you start reading from here it says Whoop, this is the last page you suck and well it's it's a manga it's amazing stuff actually I, I love the graphic style uh, and as I said, sadly, this one did only last for two books. That sucks. And over here, what is this thing? Uh, I searched it, and it says Rockman X, 5DS, and 6 Music Encyclopedia, or something like that. I couldn't tell you what they are talking about in all these pages, but... But, but, at the end, you can find there is a music CD here. Oh, and yes, it has music from both 5DS and 6 for the Battle Network series. And inside here, if I'm not mistaken, there is another one of these rare cards. I don't know what they are for. I wish I could know. Maybe someday I will find out. But, pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, this one is kind of a hardcover cardboard or something like that. Uh, it's not uh, just plastic like all books I have. Uh, man, I wish I could read all of this. So, next one. What is this? 
Mega Man X3, what is this thing? Well, this is not a manga. This is actually the official complete strategy guide for the Mega Man X3 game. Yes, it's all in Japanese, but if you can see maps, you don't need anything else. You can see there is some kind of stuff here. And there's the complete map for the... Oh man, I don't remember the name for this boss. Anyways, this is a complete guide for this game. This is pretty old, and it was... And it was donated to me, of course. I mean, was donated to. Okay, next we have. This is Mega Man CX Advent uh, complete guide too. This is one, this one is in Japanese too. And yes, in this one, you do need some Japanese knowledge because there's no way you're going to understand all of these instructions. <laughs> Um, but yeah, some others, you can just look at the pictures, look at this. It's telling you the parent, the boss attacks. And some other stuff like that, like there are a few maps and this and that. Some attack patterns and so on. Well, it's just a strategy guide, guide, official strategy guide, of course. And next one is, oh, this one is awesome stuff too. This one is Mega Man Mega Mix issue number one. Oh wait, what is the number one here? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's number one for you. <laughs> um there are three issues of Mega Man Mega Mix. I only have this one, the first one. Uh of course this one is in English. I I have created all of it. I love the style. It has love Lots and of action, some uh, drama, some comedy. It has plenty of variety. I love the graphic style, of course. And well, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's some original stories for the game, or kind of original. They are pretty much tied up to the official story for the game. So. Um, not some weird stuff some guy came out with. Uh, these, these ones are actually made by Hitoshi Ariga. Uh, this guy is kind of the uh, best student that Inafune has. Uh, if you don't know who Inafune is, well, shame on, shame on you, man. Just Google it. And over here, last but not least, we have Mega Man Gigamix. What the hell? I said I only have one of these Mega Mix things. Well, uh, this is different stuff. After the three Mega Mix volumes, it came Mega Man Gigamix. And this is volume number one. I've heard there are three of this. I only have number one, sadly. I know I suck for that. I'm searching for the other ones. And of course, this follows the same line of comedy and action and drama and stuff like that that the other ones that the Mega Mix have. Uh, it's actually pretty good stuff. I, I really enjoyed reading this one. Okay, that's for the book. Oh man, I'm not even halfway. Oh yeah, halfway almost. Let me show you over here. Uh, here, okay, this is just the boxes for the DS games that I have. Okay, this is uh, CX, Mega Man ZX, uh, Mega Man ZX Advent, uh, this is Mega Man Zero Collection, um, this is uh, Mega Man uh, Star Force Black Ace, uh, this is Mega Man Battle Network 2, Circle X Ninja, Mega Man uh, Battle Network, I mean Battle Four. Oh man, <laughs> Star Force Leo and Mega Man Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. And moving on a little bit, this is all my Mega Man X stuff. Uh, this one is for the PSP, Mother Hunter X, nothing special. Mega Man X4, nothing special. Uh, this one, Mega Man X7, a little bit worn out. I'm looking for another uh, copy because this one is, I don't know, the box just. Uh, too old, the manual is too... Uh, it's just uh, run into a bad day or something. Okay, Mega Man X Command Mission. I haven't even played this one. I know, I know. Shame on me. And Mega Man X Collection. Hey, what Mega Man Collector will be complete without that collection? And over here you can see this is uh, 
Mega Man X3 for the Super Famicom, that's Super Nintendo for you, but Japanese version, that's Mega Man X3, X2, and X1 for the SNES, or Japanese SNES, and here's Mega Man X for the uh, American version, I guess. Uh, this one actually has a special story, I may make a review about that one, but uh, not now. Over here, almost done. Okay, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I hate this game, not because of the contents, of course, but uh, the programmers made a uh, really awful work. Uh, the controllers really suck. They inverted. Uh, I mean, they suck. Uh, Mega Man Powered Up is. Uh, I don't want to hate this one, but oh, man, just look at this. It's so gay, so girlish. Uh. I may make a review about this one too someday. Uh, but let me show you some more interesting stuff. I um, think you have already spotted this guy over here. Oh man, what is this? An original copy of Rockman M40? Yes, sir, that's it. And well, I hope to make some strategy guide for this game. But I have some other more interesting stuff, not this, this is just Mega Man 8, oh, look at this, this is Super Adventure Rockman, maybe you have heard of this one, uh, this is for the Sega Saturn version, uh, sadly I haven't been able to play this game because, well, I don't have a Japanese Sega Saturn, oh, uh, these things, uh, you may have noticed already all of the music CDs have this things uh they come like this in the side of the jewel case i don't know what's the purpose but oh well i don't want to throw them away anyway so this is super adventure rockman and over here whoa i bet you haven't seen this one this is Mega Man battle and chase for the psx this game is pretty rare uh this copy, you can see, it's actually new, totally new, hasn't even been opened. And you might be wondering, hey, what the hell, what do you want a game for if, you don't, if you're not going to play it? Well, uh, sadly, again, this is Japanese version, I don't have a Japanese PlayStation, so I won't be able to play this one. That's why I haven't even opened it. But, sure, I'm, I'm planning to play it and maybe make a review, but... Uh, I won't open it until I have some means to play it. Over here, oh, this is the Japanese cartridges for the NES. So, this is Mega Man 6. So, over here we have, come on, man. Uh, just Mega Man 6 and 5. You can see I also have uh, for the US versions, there is Mega Man 6 and 4. Here is Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 2, I guess, I'm missing 1 and 5, I'm looking for them. But at least I can play them um, in the Japanese version, of course, I have I have the adapter to play those games. And over here, this is Japanese versions of Mega Man 7 and Mega Man Soccer. And these ones, these guys here are just... Mega Man 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the Japanese Famicom. And what's this guy here? Why is he facing down? Well, because he's the most rare or rarest, I don't know how to say that, game I have. This thing is really, really rare. Yes, I'm going to make a review on this one uh, someday. Don't expect it soon. But uh, I wanted to give this for the end, of course. It's the best I got. So, oh man, that took a long way. That's my Mega Man collection. I'm still trying to find lots of rare stuff and Japanese versions of all the games I have. I'm hoping to have all the Battle Network and Ryusei and everything in both Japanese and American and maybe European versions. I am hoping to get lots and lots of more toys. Yes, I'm not happy with the ones I have, and of course I'm going to keep playing the uh, the Mega Man comics. I, I I don't remember if I mentioned this, but the Mega Man comic by Archie Comics. You can see uh, this is the 
company that's making these comics. Uh, this one is still running on. I mean, they're taking, they're making new. Uh, oh man, <laughs> new episodes every month. Uh, you can find those on Amazon, or you may go to their web to their web page. Uh, anyways, okay, I think I'm done here. Man, this was exhausting. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see your comments here.